planting and propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees is a source of livelihood for many Filipino families. Nowadays, many people engage in this as a source of additional income for their daily needs. Fruit-bearing trees can be planted in your backyard depend on several factors. The space in your backyard, the kind of soil, and the type of climate in your own community. The pupils should be able to demonstrate understanding of scientific practices in planting and propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees. It is important, however, to first learn the benefits derived from planting and propagating trees and fruit-bearing trees to families and community. This lesson will discuss these benefits. It will also identify successful orchard growers in the country. At the same time, the lesson will present sources of fruit-bearing seedlings for sale. In addition, this lesson will also present the latest data on the volume of production of the most in-demand fruit crops in the country. Why is there a need for plant propagation? Plant propagation is the process of reproducing or creating a new plant or seedling. It is an important part of gardening, whether outdoors or indoors. Plants are living things that grow either through the roots, stems, and leaves of their flowers, fruits, and seeds. It is a method of growing new plants from seed or from parts of existing plants. It's derived from planting trees and fruit-bearing trees. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and sugar. Food used as fuel for cooking and heating. Construction materials which include lumber, plywood, and board. Fiber for the production of pulp and paper. Chemical products such as resin, rubber, and turpentine. Other benefits derived from trees. They provide shade and fresh air around the house and along the streets and surroundings. They protect the soil from erosion. These roots hold the soil, preventing it from eroding when rain or floods come. They help maintain high quality water supply. The roots of plants and trees help strains the dirt and cleanse the water as it passes through the roots. The roots system promotes soil stability. This means that the soil held by the roots remain there and does not erode. They serve as valuable wildlife habitats. Wild animals live in places with many trees like that of a forest. They serve as windbreakers during typhoons and storms, thus reducing the destruction of home and agricultural crops. They help reduce pollutions in congested urban areas. The more trees present, the less amount of carbon dioxide is in the air. 
they contribute to the beautiful landscapes in the city and the countryside. They improve the atmosphere of a place by giving a feeling of freshness and coolness as they reduce temperature. They prevent the river and lake sedimentation. These trees help hold the water in the lake and river and keep it there. This prevents the lake and river from drying up. They prevent floods. Floods occur when water from rain rushes in causing soil erosion. However, if there are trees to serve as barriers and the roots to hold the water, flood will not occur. Successful Orchard Growers in the Philippines Senen Bacani, La Fuerta Incorporated. From being the former Department of Agriculture head during the presidency of Corazon Aquino and former country manager of Dole Philippines and Costa Rica, Senen Bacani sure do know a lot about agriculture. He is now the CEO of one of the largest exporters of bananas in the country, La Fuerta Incorporated. Desiree Duran, Duran Farm and Agribusiness Center. Desiree Duran was challenged to start her agribusiness after attending a seminar. She turned her one hectare of land into a plantation of tomato, which piqued the interest of her own community. The community became involved in the production. Duran Farms and Agribusiness Center now trains farmers and teach them about the modern technology in farming. Paris Uy, Leaf Green International Incorporated. Paris Uy's advocacy for organic product has been welcomed in the country. He is into producing organic vegetables, which today is very in demand to many. Leaf Green International Incorporated is now distributing fresh produced and organic products to 19 outlets in the country, including well known malls and establishments. Arsenio Barcelona Harvest Agricultural Corporation From his travel to Taiwan, Arsenio Barcelona was inspired by the technology and techniques used in their farming. He then bought this information back to Manila. In 1997, No New Seeds Corporation Limited the largest and most prestigious seed breeder, producer, and distributor in Taiwan got them to be the exclusive importer and distributor of their products, which then led to the Harvest Agricultural Corporation. Edit the Kui Kui, Ref Mad Farms. Mm -hmm. 
ventured into the dragon fruit business when she was sold how the fruit can help relieve constipation problems, a condition common to cerebral palsy patients. Her daughter Kate was suffering from this ailment. Selling all 450 per kilo dragon fruit was too expensive for Edita, so she decided to raise her own fruits in their backyard. Jose Mercado, Merlo Agricultural Corporation. Jose knows that coffee business will make him successful. He grew up in a coffee farm in Lipa, Batangas, owned by his father and spent his childhood years helping him run the farm. He was inspired to continue this kind of business for this is something that he knew by heart. So he put up his own coffee business and realized his dream to have a better life.